Four, ways to lose weight and keep it off. Keeping from gaining weight through extra body fat should be the most important part of any weight management plan that works. The military is the only place where people can start working on protection from the first day they join. Because people in the military are chosen from a group of people who meet certain criteria for body mass index, BMI, and percent body fat, the main goal should be to create an environment that helps people keep a healthy weight and body composition throughout their time in the military. Several studies show that most people have a hard time losing extra body fat and have a high chance of getting it back. Every person must be taught the basic reasons why people gain weight on the first day of initial entry training, along with a plan for keeping a healthy body weight without cheating. It's simple. You gain weight when you eat more calories than you burn. Overweight and obesity are clearly caused by a lot of different genetic, behavioral, and environmental factors interacting with each other. People who are overweight have been offered hundreds or even thousands of weight loss plans, diets, pills, and devices. However, the complex causes of obesity make it hard for professionals, researchers, and people who are overweight to find long-lasting, effective ways to lose weight and keep it off. There is evidence that genes play a part in the causes of being overweight or obese. But genes alone can't explain why more and more people in the U.S. are overweight or obese over the last 20 years. Instead, most of the blame should go to the behavioral and environmental factors that cause people to eat too much and not move around enough compared to how much energy they use. These are the things that weight management plans try to change. This chapter talks about the safety and effectiveness of weight loss strategies, as well as the groups of strategies that seem to be linked to good loss. The parts of good weight maintenance will also be looked at, since the fact that it's hard to keep off the weight may add to the problem of being overweight. There is also a short talk of public policy measures that might help stop people from being overweight and help people who are trying to lose weight or keep it off. One important part of a complete weight loss plan for healthy adults who are overweight is increasing their physical exercise. Being able to start and stick with an exercise plan is one of the best ways to tell if you will be able to control your overweight or obesity in the long run. Jockey Sick et al., 1995-1999, Clem et al., 1997. McGuire et al., 1998-1999, Scholler et al., 1997. Having exercise facilities on military bases can help exercise and fitness programs that are needed to keep the services physically ready in general and for weight control in particular. The amount, length, frequency, and type of physical activity a person does will rely on their current health conditions, how active they were before, their physical limitations, and their own personal preferences. Referral for more expert evaluation may be necessary, especially for people who have more than one of the above extenuating circumstances. People who haven't been active much before should slowly start to do more physical activities. After a few weeks of slowly building up, they should be able to do 30 minutes of exercise every day. This may also be true for some military members, especially new trainees or reservists called back to active duty who may have lived a very sedentary life before joining the service. The exercise goal has been described as an extra 1,000 kkl UK of energy use, Jakisic et al., 1999, Pete et al., 1995, but this amount may not be enough to keep the weight off. This could mean setting a weekly goal of 2,000 to 3,000 kkl of extra exercise, Clem et al., 1997, Scholler et al., 1997, or something similar. So you should start preparing your mind for the amount of movement you need to keep off the weight while you are still losing weight. Brownell, 1999. For many people, changing how much they exercise is more difficult than changing what they eat. It has been shown that people are more likely to follow through with their daily 30-minute exercise prescription if it is broken up into 10-minute chunks. Over 18 months, however, people who did short bursts of exercise did not see long-term changes in their ability to lose weight, improve their cardiorespiratory fitness, or increase their physical activity levels compared to people who did longer bursts of exercise. There is some evidence that home exercise equipment, like a bicycle, makes people more likely to exercise regularly and is linked to longer-term weight loss, Jakitic et al., 1999. Also, personal preferences are the most important thing to think about when choosing an exercise. Aerobic exercise may not give as good of long-term effects when strength training or resistance exercise is added to it. Poirier and Despray, 2001, Southern et al., 1999. Since strength training tends to make muscles bigger, it may be easier to lose body fat while losing not as much lean body mass. One more benefit is that it slows down the drop in resting metabolic rate that comes with losing weight. 
This may happen because of keeping or gaining lean body mass. Exercise is good for you, but study on overweight people shows that exercise programs alone don't help them lose a lot of weight in the groups that were studied. It is important to note, though, that a lot of these kinds of studies have been done with middle-aged white women who don't do much. One reason why exercise alone may not help people lose a lot of weight is that the chemicals in the brain that control eating may cause people to eat more to make up for the calories they burn during exercise. In the short run, exercise programs can help people lose an average of 2 to 3 kg. Blair, 1993, Pavlou et al. 1989 A, Skender et al., 1996, Wadden and Sarwer, 1999. But the results are much better when diet changes are made along with exercise. One example is that people who lost weight and changed their lifestyle along with doing more exercise lost 7.2 kg after six months to three years of follow-up, Blair, 1993. It has been shown that diet and exercise together work better than diet and exercise alone, Blair, 1993. Dyer, 1994, Pavlou et al., 1989A, 1989B, Perry et al., 1993. Also, gaining the weight back is much less likely when exercise is mixed with any other weight loss plan. Blair, 1993, Clem et al., 1997. Following up after losing weight is linked to better results, especially if the exercise plan is checked on and changed as part of this follow-up, Cayman et al., 1990. Studies have shown that military trainees lost a lot of weight during their first few weeks of training just by working out. However, the fact that they didn't have time to eat during training probably also played a role in this weight loss. Lee et al., 1994. Eating habits that might make you fat. 1. Not eating many or any meals at home. 2. Choosing foods that are high in fat and calories. 3. Opting for high-fat snack foods from strategically placed vending machines or snack shops combined with leaving insufficient time to prepare affordable, healthier alternatives. 4. Eating at sit-down places with big portions or all-you-can-eat buffets, simple changes that can be made to the dining area. 1. Make meals at home and bring lunch bags with you. 2. Learn how to guess or measure meal portions. 3. Learn to tell how much fat is in food on the menu and at the spread. 4. Get rid of smoking and drink less alcohol. 5. Eat low-calorie foods instead of high-calorie ones. Change your way to work so you don't have to go by a favorite grocery store. Physical activity setting. The time it takes to do the exercise and the lack of facilities or safe places to exercise are two big reasons why people don't exercise, even when they are very driven. Environmental treatments stress the variety of ways that exercise can fit into a busy life and try to make the most of all the chances that come up. HHS 1996. Perhaps changes need to be made to the environment in order to get more women to join exercise programs. For example, women may need more repair time after exercise. Also, facilities at work may need to be made more user-friendly, like having measured indoor walking routes and low-level aerobics classes at lunchtime. Wasserman et al., 2000. The physical exercise environment is also improved by having safe pavements and parks, as well as other ways to get to work, like walking or biking. Setting up car-free zones is one example of a change that could encourage people to be more active. Diet. There may be two parts to weight control programs, losing weight and keeping it off. Exercise may be the most important part of a program to keep the weight off, but it's clear that limiting what you eat is the most important part of a program to lose weight because it affects how fast you lose weight. Only about 15 to 30 percent of daily energy use comes from activity. All of the energy we take in comes from food. So, cutting back on calories may have the biggest effect on the energy balance equation. There are a lot of different diets out there, but no matter what they are called, they all involve cutting back on some amounts of protein, carbs, CHO, and fat. The parts that follow look at different ways that the amounts of these three energy-rich macronutrients can be combined. Like, share, and subscribe.